Hello everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW. It's Monday morning and I'm up bright and early to try and get this one done before I have to start work. It is Kraken number 97 in the tier 5 premium Japanese battleship, the Huger. And I think this is my second Kraken in the Huger. Um, again, not always expected, but always a pleasure to pick up that medal in a game. We are here on Shard's Domination with myself and Chin in Hugas, and we've got GL Chiz, who some may recognise as being Graham, from the live chat on some of our live streams. He started jumping into Division um, a bit more with us and uh, picking up a few new tips of the game, and I think he appreciates playing in Division as well, instead of just with eight complete randoms. Now, um, this B cap on shards is probably one of the most hated spawn points um, in any map on world of warships legends um, especially when you've got uh, destroyers in the game because they sneak in to the island and they get parked up and they can turn that cap quite easily um, we are looking at our destroyers we've got one left and one right on a and c caps so we're kind of thinking well have we got a destroyer opposite us we don't know now one of the things that goes terribly wrong right at the very start of this game is you'll notice that on a cap our dd runs straight in while the derflinger runs straight away he heads for the cover of the island and is is going to be absolutely no support whatsoever to that destroyer on the cap and that is unfortunate because it is going to give red team an advantage and turn this into a very scrappy fur uh, furious battle um, for the three of us here on b cap now we are located which means that we are obviously the closest ship um, to a red team ship that is either running twist and track or perceptive and that is never a good thing in a slow moving battleship um, we are asking for somebody to support that destroyer on air the derflinger is still trying to find his place behind that island he hasn't actually got eyes on anything i think um, to shoot at and i do believe he's basically going to spend the majority of the game running and kiting and uh well i don't know what the final result is for him but um let's just say we end up having to uh, pick up the pieces of a cup but as we push in we notice we've got a kirishima um i think we've got a fuzo as well um i can't actually remember i'll have to i'll have to watch the game and talk through it as we play but there we go yes there's a fuzo there we've got the um sorry it's the arp haruna not the kirishima um, so there's at least two battleships. There's another battleship back there as well. And um, yeah, we've got we've got four ships here potentially pushing this cap. It is a carrier match as well, and our carrier seems solely focused on a cap, and um, he's not going to be much help to us. So literally, as three battleships, we are going to have to literally just stand here and bludgeon and batter our way through red team now i put those shots out at the fuso we managed to knock out a turret and get a cap reset um, but i'm trying to slam this thing into reverse because i'm quite certain that we're going to get torpedoes come through here um, and and that is is going to prove entirely true as you see them push around in front of us now i can't seem to hit the citadel for this fuso for love nor money even though he is completely broadside to me he is battering chunks off me now i want to let this fire burn because i don't want to uh in fact no i do hit my damn damage con there i thought i was going to let that one burn but with three battleships with secondaries we're in a a pretty bad place we know this destroyer has fired he's going to have a reload shortly but i take the opportunity to try and push across this gap whilst um, getting some shots onto this Mackinson and for whatever reason this is another shop another shop another ship that um, I quite often 
seem to have problems getting a Citadel shot on with a flat broadside and point blank range, um, which is which is crazy. It doesn't matter what ship I'm in, it's always the same for me. I just can't seem to um, knock them down. And I'm in a little bit of a panic here. We've got torpedoes coming through from the destroyer. The Fuso's disappeared out of sight. He's there. He's barely got anything left on him. And um, I just I just want a shot. But even though it is telling me that my shots are not going to make it across the top of there, we managed to land two hits and take the Fuso out. So that's one ship gone. I'm down to, what, probably 20% of my health, and we are barely five minutes into the game. So, will the rebuild is going to come into play here. Um, that destroyer is still running around behind that island. I'm looking at him, I wanted to get shots on, but he's quite skinny. So, we switch our attentions across to the Mackinson, and he is well angled and bounces most of those these these new german battle cruisers certainly seem in some circumstances to be able to take a punch and their secondaries are absolutely bloody awful as well we've got 10 seconds on two turrets and we're turning we see the destroyer pop up again but the Mackinson secondaries are what is doing the damage at the moment. So we put some shots onto him and get a cap reset. We are not letting this go without a fight. So I'm certain the DD has probably gotten his sights on us and put another set of torpedoes out. So we begin a turn again. The Mackinson has pushed all the way through. And this, I think, is going to be his fatal flaw in this game he's relying on his secondaries to be doing the damage but here we go we get all our turrets off at him and again we still don't kill him so we've got two more turrets we go a little bit higher and we claim him for kill number two there are the torpedoes from the destroyer you can see that red team's carrier is going to be uh, putting his attention onto us soon as well and so we are going to get onto these other two battleships. The Akotnik has now sailed over to join the fight as well. And for his efforts, he is going back to port. So that's three battleships and two destroyers. We've accounted for five of the red team so far with three kills. Um, for me, and red team have been able to take that cap the haruna is out there taking a battering and even though he is bow tanking we managed to get shots on and take kill number four now if you look across the map you will see that um that our mackinson has now made his way nearly all the way across to our side being pursued by a red team Mackinson. We've still got eyes on that um, destroyer, but we haven't got shots on, so we're still having to play cautiously. I had switched to high explosive, um, hoping that the you know he may be in open water and the carrier might get him spotted. And we're looking for him coming out, but realizing that this Mackinson is in a world of hurt back there. And so we switch back to Armour Pearson, and we have now got to wait for our reload. We've used our reload boosters, and um, we're just going to have to try and do what we can now. But we're looking around, looking for, you know, where can we turn if we get that torpedo indicator come up. Red Team Mackinson is still battering the heck out of ours, who I think is just uh, giving him you know, as much of a broadside as he can to get out of the game early. But we turn back in towards B cap. We see the destroyer there and we get two turrets off, but um, I don't think we're going to make contact with those. But that means that there are torpedoes going to be coming over. So we get our rear turrets over there at that guy we slap them all off and um literally i think that's that's bounces is that bounces we basically bounce everything off him as he's very well angled um 
he's dispatched our Mackinson, who, as I said, started across an air cap, um, abandoned the destroyer, and then pretty much made his way all the way to this side of the map. We see the torpedo indicator. We get all six turrets off at that Mackinson. And for once, we land a Citadel shot and we pick up the Kraken Unleashed. Now, knowing that there is a carrier and a destroyer left, we've got our Kraken and um, we're kind of sweaty palms here at the moment on the controller. This destroyer is in his smoke screen. I'm literally expecting torpedoes at any second. He's come out of a smoke. He's running. We've got seconds before the reload is due. Everybody is onto him. But we ripple those shots out, leading his turn. And take him off for a six-pack. Now, that has been pretty hard, fast, and furious. There is still a carrier left in the game. But B cap was our starting cap. And so we are going to remain sat on this capture point until such time as we take it because i think that we've earned the right to um, turn this cap for blue team although you know red team do only have one ship left um we've lost two um so it's one play seven but that isn't to say that the carrier can uh, you know rest and just run he is going to keep the pressure on us for as long as he can he does get spotted out there it's a visa now i do slow down because i'm looking at the hit points remaining and uh, i'm thinking i could probably do with still being in will to rebuild range just to pull back a few extra hit points um but we decide to push the other guys are catching us up and in come the enemies dive bombers again obviously the visa armor piercing bombs and um yeah 13,000 hit points i don't know exactly how much uh, damage each of his bombs can potentially do but um i know that some people love playing the vaser because you know of the number of citadels you can hit with bombers but we only lose a couple of thousand there even though they do appear to hit us you know quite fair and square on the top of the deck he has decided that he is going to move we managed to get a plane kill, a single plane kill there. We're on 87,000 damage. We have the Vaser in sight. Our destroyer, or our remaining destroyer, is across there, finally taking that capture point. Um, great to see, you know, securing the cap and helping us push the points closer to the 1,000 tally for a win. Now that he has taken the capture point, he is going to push out for the destroyer. Although we do blind fire um, the carrier, he's at maximum range. We don't land any shots. And the reason why becomes apparent, it's because he has started moving again. He knows that he is in range of us. He's got torpedo bombers in the air. So he's pretty much playing for survival and uh, just trying to get some damage on the board and make the most of his game. Now I'm going to just turn in to these Vaser Torps, try and turn through the middle of them, but I am going to pick up one, and that knocks me down below the 10,000 threshold. There is very little time left on the game. I am certain that he is going to come round again, and keep harassing me but in harassing me he's not got his attention on that destroyer who is closing in every second and he is shortly going to be within torpedo range but uh we got a six pack we're going to get some shots across the top there and see if we can pick up a little bit extra damage um it looks as though our dd is in secondary range he's got his torps on and this phaser is not long of this world he takes him out for a dev strike um i think i'll have to wait here i do indeed pick up obviously the kraken but i do get a fireproof and a dreadnought but very nice to hit a six pack rather than a bog standard five for a kraken game um 
hard fought three battleships against what three battleships and two destroyers on that cap and then taking the attention of the carrier but we finish top of the board um i feel a little bit greedy there having um, all six kills for our division but chin finishes a respectable second and um chiz he splits the board at uh, position number five so i really do hope that you've enjoyed watching this video um we're getting ever closer as i say to kraken number 100 and i think we'll have to pull a compilation of kraken kills together for that one so until next time take care and goodbye